Hey everyone, it's Hans, and welcome back. Sometimes it's hard to believe that 20 years have passed since the original Xbox released. For some of us, it feels just like the other day, you know, back in my lounge when I was 16, 17, unboxing the original console and everything that it encompassed. Well, 20 years later, Microsoft have sought to celebrate this wonderful milestone with a variety of products one of which I've already unboxed on my channel. Today, however, I'm going to be looking at the Xbox Series X controllers that celebrate Microsoft's 20th anniversary. And I do think it might be one of my favorites, not to mention some really cool secrets that it has. So I hope you'll join me as we unbox and have a closer look. At first glance, the Xbox Series controller celebrating Xbox's 20th anniversary looks pretty standard. It has the controller on the front, a bunch of information about the controller on the back and the sides, and that's about it. Or could there be something else? Much like the Xbox Series X limited edition Halo Infinite console that I recently unboxed, the packaging for the 20th anniversary series controller does harbor a really cool throwback to the original Duke controller, but it can only be seen with a black light. And as you can see on the front of this packaging, it is right there in all of its massive gargantuan glory. I can still remember how massive that original controller was back in the day. And although comfortable, it was still a little bit on the bigger side until Microsoft eventually released Xbox S controller, which would then serve to become the new model and size for the Xbox 360 and Xbox One and Xbox Series generations going forward. Other than that cool messaging on the packaging, there's not much else to it. You can open it up and inside you'll find the 20th anniversary series controller, a pair of AA batteries, and some user information. For all intents and purposes, this is a normal series controller. However, it is set apart by the fact that it is see-through. I, I personally love see-through products. I don't know why I always have. I can still remember one of my favorite products used to be a Game Boy Color. It was purple, it was see-through, it was my first Game Boy, so maybe that's why I really enjoy see-through products. Either way, I really wish manufacturers would do more of this kind of thing because it's so cool to look at this Xbox Series controller and be able to see the bits and bobs that make it work through the casing. And in this sense, the controller itself looks to be quite nicely designed. And there are a lot of cool little tidbits here and there that make it just that much extra. For a start, we have the green underneath the D-pad on the left. And then on the right, we have the same 20th anniversary branding that we've seen on all of the other 20th anniversary products. There is also a unique Xbox guide button on this controller, which has the Xbox green in the center. And what's cool about this is, is when the controller is on, it has that classic green and white logo from Xbox's past, which we don't really see too much today. And I really dig that. Turning around the controller, you can see it has the typical rubber grips, this time in that wonderful bright Xbox green. And if you thought that was all, you'd be wrong. Popping off the battery cover reveals a really cool message from Phil Spencer, head of Xbox at Microsoft. And the message reads, when everybody plays, we all win. And I feel that is a very cool motto that all game manufacturers and publishers should abide to. And here's hoping that they all will given all of the recent acquisitions. But that's not all. Connecting this controller to an Xbox Series console will allow you to download a limited edition 20th anniversary dynamic background. And here you can see it. It certainly looks very cool. Although I do think it could have done without the giant 20. What do you think? Given that this is still a normal Xbox Series controller, something some of you might not know, but I figured would be really cool to include in this video, is how you can switch between Bluetooth devices and your Xbox console without having to consistently repair your controller. It's really simple. Once your controller is paired to your Xbox and once it is paired to a Bluetooth device of your choice, all you have to do is double tap the sync button and it'll automatically switch back to your Xbox. And if you wanna go back to your Bluetooth device, just tap and hold and it'll automatically start looking for the Bluetooth device and that's it. 
Overall, I really like the Xbox Series 20th Anniversary controller. I think it's one of the better collector's editions that have been made available over the last several years. Uh, for me, the see-through aspect is really what sells it, but other than that, I also like the one or two smaller bits like the green on the guide button, as well as the message from Phil Spencer on the battery cover. I also like the fact that Microsoft took the time to pay homage to the original Duke controller with that wonderful hidden image on the front that can only be seen with the black light. I think that is just a very cool thing to do and they don't need to do things like that, but it's so cool for us as gamers to enjoy things like that. So overall, I really enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Ciao for now.